Hello everyone, Epic Eclipse here, and today I am bringing you guys some custom maps from Rocket League. Actually, the best custom maps. So in this episode, there will be two instead of one, because there are two maps that I really, really like. So the first one is made by uh, Miko, who uh, sent me this map in for a submission to do basically the best, like one of the best maps of the week, and it is very enjoyable. A lot of things to do, and we are going to explore most of those things. So, as you can see, it's very big. Uh, he's got some hoops over here that you can go shoot in. Uh, this is a kind of like uh, aerial uh, like training course where you have to go through all the like holes and stuff. And also joined by us in this video will be Tim. Um, uh, he's basically the person behind all this and the subreddit and everything like that. So he's going to be talking a little bit about what's coming out, what we know and everything about that. And he'll be talking in the background and stuff. Um, so also I'd like to say, uh, in the description, I am putting the subreddit so you can go download these maps, look at how to make your own maps. It's got a whole bunch of tutorials and it's, uh, frequently updated with basically anything that's found out people post it there. And if you find out anything interesting that's not there, Definitely post it. We highly support the community finding things out. So first thing that I want to go look at here is the trampoline, which is this right now, right here, which you guys don't know is particularly a trampoline, but a whole bunch of things that you have to do in UDK to figure out how to actually do a trampoline, which is pretty cool. Uh, definitely a lot of fun. Let's go hit the ball in here, actually. So he's got a very big and more interesting map here. Oh, okay. So Tim's here now. What? What? Oh, I thought you said. I've decided to do because I recorded the other part of the video first, but now we're gonna put this video part of the video first because I don't know. I decided to do it that way. So this is the trampoline. It's a lot of fun. I like the trampoline. Do you like the trampoline? Yeah, they're fun. I have one on outside of one of my maps, which actually makes it a pain because you can't respawn because you'll just uh. be stuck floating, but. Hmm. Interesting. Um, They're still fun. Have you ever seen Miko's map? Miko, I think his name is? Hmm. Well, let's see. I probably have. I've looked at all the ones that have been posted. I just can't keep it's track. It's pretty interesting. So, basically, he's got... Uh, he's a big sand map. It's, it's like kind of like in a Colosseum form. He's got a, like a... Um, he's got a trampoline uh three basketball hoops that you can like launch off a ramp and shoot them in a whole bunch of triangles and actually he has i think a grind yeah he has a grinding ramp that's a little bit bigger in the middle which is pretty fun so you can do a whole bunch of tricks with that actually you know kick flip it land it you spaz out a little bit so next i want to really try is this um, I'm really bad at these when people made them. I've tried a whole bunch of them. The, uh, like, aerial ops courses that you have to go through the hoops. Hmm, yeah. I think my, because I, I have a disadvantage. I'm on keyboard. It's not the easiest thing to do. You'll make the switch soon. Yeah. I believe in you. I wonder if I can just, like, rocket my way through it. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, I didn't make it. <laughs> It's so hard to do like flight like this on keyboard sometimes. Plus my dyslexia is not helping. <laughs> I'm literally just going the wrong way constantly. I don't know. I'm sure everyone watching the video right now, you guys can see me being dyslexic about it. You can literally see me just turning the wrong way. There we go. No dyslexia, and I made that one. All right, so that was the first one. We're at one checkpoint here. Let's see if we can get through the rest. I think they just keep on getting harder. Let's see if I can just... No! Yeah, like, I thought, is that what I'm talking about? They get smaller? Um, I don't know if they, they just... He just added more on these. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I need he... to update my map tool to support more than six characters. That way we can do these custom names. And everyone, well, I don't right. know that works. Ooh. <laughs> well, I'm just, all right. This second part is not going well, Tim. I'm not doing it so well. 
Have you, how do you fare on these like little ring obstacle courses? I, I've only tried one in the first day someone posted it. Honestly, I spent most of my time just reversing parts of it. Oh, and I can't. And that playing ranked with you guys, so. Yeah. We have a video coming out too. That's just the three of us playing ranked. Oh, which I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of it. It's a really funny video. I get very angry at Tim for most of it. 90% of it. There's a lot of That's yelling. A, of fun. a lot of yelling. At Tim. I don't know how I do so well at RLCSs, but the... <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> you know, if you were to watch me try to do this ring thing, I guess, like, I don't know, it's not something I particularly have to do normally in Rocket League, so... No! no you honestly, sort of... one of the best parts of these custom maps is going to be the training potential. These that ring things are stuff? probably pretty good for training. You know, imagine having to yeah. aerial... Imagine trying to have... Having to try to aerial dribble it through. There's been a couple really good map ideas, too, that people have posted oh. in the uh, subreddit. Or just the actual Rocket League subreddit. And once we get goals working... Well, I'm hoping map makers have actually started working on that. Because, like, there was an idea for um, one where you get two points if you score um, in a small hoop. Like, they had the normal goal, and then they had three small goals at the top. Like, precision goals. And yeah. they're worth different point values. I'm like, that's a pretty cool idea. That's pretty but cool. Definitely be something Maybe. for us to implement fairly easily. Maybe I'll start working on it. I don't know. Alright, has everyone yeah. just been watching me try to do these stupid rings? <laughs> They've just really been failing at it the whole time. Oh, this one's... Fuck my dyslexia, honestly. <laughs> I think my dyslexia is what's killing me, really. Honest, I, I can do it if I just stop turning the wrong way. But I will have these these the subreddit in the description, and then there's basically a link in the subreddit to go and download maps. Like it's, is it admin? I don't know what the announcements. It's under the announcements, right? Yeah, should be. Yeah, Rocket so, League custom map sharing. Is yeah, it's under the announcements. It's it, it'll be the green one on the top, and you can go look there and go and download any map. This one. Um, is made by Miko, and the other one is made by Coco. Um, so they'll have those their names and stuff. All right, I'm just gonna cheat and go to the next part of this because honestly, I can't. I can't do it. We'll just <laughs> they're triangles now. They're not circles. I don't yeah, think. so that's the map I was thinking of. Oh, yeah, that's my friend Miko who made it. Um, he's one of the subscribers of the channel. Uh. Okay, Miko, you've defeated me with your stupid fucking obstacle course. I can't do it. <laughs> you know? I'm I sure... Okay. I found him. Let's... Like Who, Miko? Yeah. <laughs> oh, now we're just gonna balls around on the other part of it. I feel like this has been more of a laid-back episode of, you know... Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Uh, maps of the week, best maps of the week. Um, probably more of the other, than, like next week and stuff. When I start getting like a couple more maps, when there's a couple more maps out and stuff to try, um, the videos will be a little bit more intense and they'll be, you know, more going through the maps instead of me just dicking around on them the whole time. So it's to look forward to that. I think this has been enough of this map. I'm pretty sure you guys got the hang of it. It's pretty fun. Definitely go check it out, download it, play it. Definitely a lot of fun to just keep on messing around at it for a little while. Um, you could also open it up in UDK and do whatever you want to it. You know, move the rings, make more rings, bigger obstacle courses and stuff like that. Um, also go check out the subreddit because it tells you how to basically do every single thing in UDK that we know so far. Um, and to the subreddit, a, a guy named Coco. And also during this video, I am going to have the um, person named there can only be two slash Tim or uh, I forgot what his reddit name is but basically the guy behind finding all this out and doing all this and basically is behind all of this made the subreddit and everything like that uh, as you guys know I do play with him a lot and he's basically he's on my team for Rocket League so we do do a lot together so he's going to be in this uh, basically talking a lot about what's coming like what we found out what's going to be new and all stuff like that. So this is Coco's map. 
Uh, let me actually get him here right now. Timmy there. Okay, well, he's not there yet. Okay, that was really loud. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we're here. Okay, so he's here. But this is also... This is Coco's map. Um, so, basically, if I can give you a little bit of an overview, is if I fly to the top of this thing, it's... It, it's cool. It's got a big um, grinding ramp in the middle with two other... Like a grinding... What do you call that, Tim? Grinding bar? Rail. Grinding rail, yeah. With uh, two ramps on the side and a big block in the middle. And then he's got two cylinders um, across from each other in the kind of perpendicular fashion to the rail. And one of them's rainbow. And I think it's a decagon. It's got, ten, it's got a lot of size to it. And then he's got another one that's, uh, I think, a hexagon, which I am on right now that's just got a little ramp at the bottom of it. And then he's got one pyramid over there and two, three other little pyramids over there. So it's got a cool little design to it. We'll go do all its little special things inside of it. Um, but while we're doing that, we'll talk to Tim a little bit. So <laughs> I don't know what we're going to talk to you about, Tim. <laughs> while you're demoing the map? While I'm demoing the map. Um... Very poorly, actually, because I didn't quite get it up there so well. Um, this map also has walls, too, which, I mean, doesn't sound so impressive, but we've struggled to get walls so easily. Um, so... We struggle to get, like, everything. Yeah, struggle to get everything. So what do we have now? We have kind of goals. Boost, definitely. Half. Yeah, half goals. Boost, definitely. Walls. Yes. Yes, yeah, for, I mean, yes for us, but not for everyone. Not everyone. So, stuff. no, no, we have, like, sticky walls working. That was the biggest thing, um, making oh, it so the, that people don't just slide off walls. Oh, you have sticky walls working? Man, you actually have to, like, look at the separate sometimes. And I've been gone <laughs> yeah. for three days, so, um... Oh, that's true. That's the end. I don't know what I posted. Blind. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's right. It was, I think, Friday. Late yeah. Friday or something. Yeah, so they're working. I I thought you meant like just making walls in general when you were talking earlier. Oh, no. no, they're working, so you no longer slide. Oh, okay. Which is you nice. have to catch me up on everything. Yeah. It's pretty kinda... easy to add, even if you already have an existing map. So, I'm just glad the people in the community are so much better at modeling than I am. <laughs> I don't have the patience. I don't have the patience for it. Hence why my map always, <laughs> my first demo looks so trashy. But uh, yeah. yeah, so we have goals, walls. Um, a lot of the events I have, I need to update. I've imported a couple more classes. Oh, we yeah, should yeah. be able to make custom game types pretty easily. Um, those shouldn't be hard to implement. Okay. Is this big turret? Have you ever played on Coco's map before? I don't know if I have. Have you ever seen it? It's on the subreddit. I've seen it. I have seen it. If it, well, it's I mean, very. I seen it. It he's right got around. a big tube. And it's very colorful, and it kind of hurts my eyes. Let's see if we can get in the O in Coco. That's pretty cool. I don't think I'll be able to. No, I'm not. Oh, it's not actually. Okay. I mean, this map is pretty Custom cool. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do it. It's textured pretty nicely. He's got the whole... Everyone, A lot of people use that whole sand texture. Well, that's all we have. For, we don't have much. We have the default UDK engine textures. We're still working on custom textures. Um, oh gosh, the map always playing. Don't the one play. thing I must say is the back of the wall should be textured like clear because when you get close to the wall, you kind of get a red spark. Um, but also, I'll put the link in the description here for the Rocket League mods uh, subreddit. Is the basically the subreddit that we use to you know we'll post all these all these maps that you can go and play, and it tells you basically how to make your own maps yourself and what you have to do along with me having videos on how to do that so I do enjoy this map though it is very fun it's like a little playground um, I definitely enjoy and very much thanks to Coco for putting all the hard work into this map and you know really making everything see this is the one thing that I must say is trying to get off the wall like that um, it's definitely very fun to play on. I was just playing on it for a very long time, actually, before recording this. So, this has been Coco's map. Um, this has been one of the two maps of the week. Um, definitely fun, definitely well made, definitely very creative, very enjoyable. 
Uh, the link in description will be to where you can get this map. And aside from that, uh, the editing on this video is probably going to be pretty weird because of what I've done. Because we're going to start on this map, go to the other map, and then end on this one. And I'm going to contradict myself a couple times, but you guys will get the point of it. So, this has been Maps of the Week. This has been a little bit more laid back than the next one will probably will be. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one.